all day. And we're back to post to post from Jersey to LA, from Washington to Florida. We're here next with Joseph Nelson. Go. And you're on two words or as many words as you actually want. Tell the camera what you feel about Nick Morales. He used to be my best friend. Now he's almost my life, my worst enemy. I can't, I, I can't even look at the kid anymore. I mean, he can't even look at him. Not only awful. has Nick betrayed his friends, he's betrayed the whole world. Everybody. He's it's a terrible. different person. Um, Joe, can you just describe the incident? I mean, you were there when he kicked Connor's dog. How how'd that make you feel? That was honestly one of the most scary things I've probably ever witnessed, you know. We were coming back from walking the dog and we saw Nick and you know, even though we've had our differences, we we're trying to be nice to him and all of a sudden we were just playing around and we told Jordan to, you know, just sick Nick, sick him. But it was a joke. Jordan so, didn't even move yeah, forward. He, he 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 didn't even move forward and all of a sudden just bam just kicked him right in the snout and I'm sure you guys know the rest of there. It was just a disgrace. Two vet appointments later, Jordan has all new teeth. All new teeth. Yeah, there was blood. It was. Eleven-year-old border collie, all new teeth. That's disgusting. Um, do you feel that Nick has more hate towards you of anyone because maybe one Emily Conti maybe showed a little bit more affection your way than uh, his own? Absolutely. During the summer, we were talking. Emily used to text me. Call me. Send pictures send to you. Send pictures. It was it was awful, but you know what? I was like, you know what? Nick and her aren't too serious yet. You know, maybe it's not that bad. Then you know, all of a sudden they're going out. And got awkward. It got awkward, and now I just don't even like I, you know, I. Just, He's lost for words I'm right now. Lost. I can't like honestly. It's something that I can't even think about without just like shaking my head. We had Carlo on here no more than I think the last episode actually, and he said stuff like. It was normal for Nick to do this, and he does it, and everything's normal. How do you feel about that? I think that Nick Nick actually learned from Carlo, and you know I'm pretty cool with Carlo because me and Carlo were never too close. We were never you know best friends. We we're never you know as he and Nick are best friends. Um, he likes to tell everyone that. But um, you know I just think they learned from each other, and now they Nick thinks it's okay. So that's I think where he got it from, and now he's not going to change from that state of mind. Would you, who would you say is worse, Nick or Carlo? <clears throat> Nick, absolutely, because he hung out with us almost all the time, and now it's none at all. You know, we call him, oh, I'm doing this with Emily. I already told Emily I would do this. I would, I'm taking Emily to practice. Getting a little crazy. Um, before anyone gets out of hand here, I know Emily used to talk to a certain Dan Dalbuno. Yeah, what, yeah. what do you think about that? You know, it's it's. It's uh, hey, you know, it's it's really you know what you know. I'm sorry for my language, Earl, but it's. Show we're gonna say what we want, how we want it to anybody, okay? Um, Dan was Dan was there for her through thick and thin, and she just you know boom bopped them. Mostly through thick. <laughs> that Mostly was an inside thick. joke. Um. I, I just have one more one more question to ask you. Do you do you see Nick Morello coming back? Is there any chance that Nick Morello will make a comeback and he'll be friends with us again? You know what? Um, at first I well, thought. Well, with you, he has no chance. At first I thought, you know, maybe. You know, now he sees me in the hall, he gives me a little, you know, tap, oh, what's up, and I just kind of like head nod him or something like that. But you know. It's just one of those things where I think we're just going to go our separate ways after high school. Um, I'm so, I want to actually see what happens with him and Emily, but uh, if something happens during the school year where him and Emily are broken up, you know, I might be able to take him back to a friend, but it, it would take a lot of apologizing, and, you know, a lot of, you know, I'd have to forgive him, and it would definitely be a long process. You know, uh, sorry, just one more question. One kid, uh, well, one of our good friends, Connor Galvin, and... A few more people thought that you and Nick got a little too close. Can you honestly say nothing happened between you and Absolutely nothing happened. He's a hairball. I remember. Okay, um, that ends it for today's episode, and I'm going to end it with a quote. A quote from Nick Morella. Friends come and go, but my girlfriend lasts forever. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah!
Alright, I'm here with Robin Morella, Nick Morella's mother. Robin, how do you feel about Nick, your son, Nick Morella? Well, he used to be a really sweet boy, you know, he would always have friends over the house. He was just really, just, he was so sociable. And then, like, he met this Emily girl, and then after that, that's when everything just went downhill. I never see his friends around anymore. He just, he's just a completely different person. I don't even see him at the house anymore. Like, it's terrible, but, you know, he does, um, on occasion come to see Ginger, our dog. He, you know, he, he doesn't talk to anyone else but the dog. Like, he's always with the dog. So, yeah, just after... So, so you're saying his, his, his life contains of Ginger and Emily, and that's about yes, it? Yes, that's what it's, nothing else. And, um, a, he works at Romeo's, too. Like, he cries? You have to Oh, I, <laughs> I just don't understand it. Like, why can't he just come home for dinner once in his life? Jesus. All right, all right. We're going we're gonna to have to cut this off. She's getting too emotional. Oh, my God. Ro Robin, thank you for your time. Bye. Hey, I want to thank everybody for coming out and watching the show. Found out the truth about Nick Morella and his relationship problems. You know, a lot of hearts are broken, but the truth came out. And uh, finally rest easy about this whole situation. I'll thank you guys again. See you later. It'll work out.